folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Camp Light 23 RLS. This is a nice couples coach, has definitely some higher end amenities, beautiful exterior, and as you go through in the interior, you'll see some accent lighting, solid surface countertops, some things that definitely help step it up a level. Starting off right over here, one of the things you will notice is that you have this nice coat rack here. You have the shelf right up above, so you can put some items up there. You have the four coat hangers there, so that way, again, you come in, you're able to hang all your jackets up. Right down below, you also have a bench seat. So this gives you a nice place to sit if you want to sit down and put your shoes on. And if you take a look at that right there, you will notice that you have storage there too, which is a great spot for shoes. One of the other things you'll notice is all the aluminum that is in here. That is something that uh, Camp Light is very well known for, is having a lot of aluminum, as well as Asdell composite panels throughout. We make our way inside here, you'll see a couple different things. You'll notice the refrigerator right here. Another thing you'll see is the bright wood. I like the fact they use a light color wood. A lot of the uh, models in the 2018 year are really dark but they went a different way here with the camp light, so I like how bright it actually is. Right up above is your multimedia center, folks. This is a um, your, your radio, as well as a CD player, and it's also a DVD player, so if you wanna watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. It's already pre-wired to the back of the TV. And again, this one is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can connect your phone or tablet to it. Contr uh, controls the speakers in here as well as outside. While we're taking a look up top, you'll also see the AC unit is right here. Uh, this is great, keeps the coach nice and cool. And um, this one, you'll see that it's actually controlled right here, that way you can kind of control the airflow, as well as right down here, you have the quick dump option. So that way, if you wanna just dump it out in a hurry, you can do so. So we take a look at the fridge freezer itself. I'll go ahead and open this guy up for you. You can take a look inside, you'll see you have plenty of space there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Then as we step over into the rest of the kitchen here, a beautiful kitchen. You'll see they have the gorgeous solid surface countertops in here. And because they went with the light wood, they're able to go with this beautiful dark countertop. And uh, it's very striking, you know, it really does look great. Excellent quality and a ton of prep space. And then you have all this space over here, which, you know, isn't great for prep because you have the sofa here. It's a little hard to get to, but it is still great countertop space. But you'll also see that they give you a sink top cover as well as a cooktop cover. So all of this is usable. And you'll also notice they have the backsplash there that is built in, um, you know, and of course caulks. So that way any water runoff isn't going to go down behind uh, your countertop. You'll see the backlit backsplash right there. You have the LED rope lighting. You can turn that off. But should that is backlit, you'll also see it's underneath the counters here, as well as in some of your cabinets up top. And that's all controlled by one switch. When we lift up this glass cover, you'll see your two burners right there. And then over to this side here, as I mentioned, is your sink, single bowl sink. Remove the cover, you can see that right there. Stainless steel bowl, high rise faucet on there as well. You do have the window right behind here. The way the windows work, folks, they basically join in the center. The top one is your privacy shade. The bottom one is actually your screen. So you can separate those out if you want. These acrylic windows right here do swing all the way open. So that way, if you need to reach out there for whatever reason, you can. Otherwise, as I mentioned, you can just have your screen up like so, or at nighttime, close it all the way down. You'll also notice you have a few electrical outlets here in the kitchen. You'll have one right here on the wall. And then the one you'll probably use more often is actually this one that's tucked right over here. Again, it's a great spot right in the corner there for either a toaster or blender, something like that. Coffee maker, of course, will go right over there. So we drop down below, you'll see two large full extension ball bearing drawers. Perfect. That way you have spot for your flatware as well as, uh, you know, anything else you need to put in there. Some of your bigger utensils like spatula, serving spoons, things like that. And then you'll see you have storage underneath the sink. Notice how wide these are. Might not be a bad spot to try to fit some pots and pans in there. As we take a look along the top, you will see kind of, kind of a decorative glass on there, which is nice. And again, they have that LED backlighting all the way throughout. They're also strut assisted, which is great because they do swing open. And so that way it's easy one hand operation. You don't have to sit here and hold the door open with a hand while trying to reach in there. Again, you can see the aluminum structure that 
uh, that Live and Light uses here in the camp light. And as I mentioned, these are all Asdel composite panels, folks. Uh, that's definitely a great material. If you're not familiar with Asdel, the reason it's good or why a lot of companies want to use it is because one, it doesn't absorb any moisture, which is especially great when we're talking about the outside. We'll talk about that a little bit when we go out there. Also, it is lighter weight. Um, and it's a green material, so it doesn't have any off-gassing or anything. So uh, that's definitely, again, some big advantages in order to use it. The downside, of course, is it does cost more money. Uh, but as I mentioned, great storage up there. Also up here, folks, you have your convection microwave oven. So this is your microwave and oven in one. I personally like convection. It cooks nice and quick, and it's easier to clean. Right here in the back, you have a big rear picture window, another window off to the side so you can get some good... Uh, cross ventilation there. You will see that again, these are the same style windows. They do pop open. Also notice how these handles are marked red. That is because these are uh, noted for emergency exit. So that way you can exit out of either of these windows. Uh, they certainly are large enough and they open far enough for, uh, for egress. Right down beneath that is your jackknife sofa. So the jackknife sofa is nice and easy. You just lift this guy up and then it drops right down. That way it converts into a bed. Now it's not a large bed, so most adults probably can't sleep there, but it is great if you have any children staying with you. Also, if you take a look right underneath here, folks, they do have easy to access storage. Rather than forcing you to lift up the sofa to get under there, they have these doors right there. And you know, you don't even have to jackknife the sofa. Again, you can just reach right here and get in there. So I think that's pretty cool. Right over here to the side is your slide. So we have a slide out Udinette, plenty of room, you know, to easily fit four people around here. If you want to pack in a couple more, you can do that too. And this drops down into a bed as well, but this is where your adult guests would probably want to sleep. Uh, you know, this is, in this bed right here, you can sleep to adults. So if you do have guests that are staying the night, again, this will probably be the place for them. Otherwise, it's a great spot to be able to sit, hang out, play cards, eat meals together. You'll also notice you have storage right underneath here. If you take a look, so again, folks, there's that Asdel composite. You can kind of see the back of it, how it's kind of that grayish black color. Uh, you know, they use that rather than your normal um, wood substrate. Now, if we take a look right over here, you have the Furion TV. So if you want to watch TV while you're in here, you can do that from the sofa. You can do that from the dinette. You do have a couple great angles to it. And as I mentioned, the DVD player is hooked up to it already. So we take a look at the bathroom, you will see your porcelain foot flush lever toilet here. Porcelain's great because it is much easier to clean than the plastic ones. You have a big mirror right up above that, and then up top you will also notice you have a power vent fan. So that will quickly help dry out the bathroom or, uh, you know, get rid of any unwanted smells. Over on the side right here is your shower. Notice that it is a fairly sizable shower, you have a big shower pan in there. Uh, you have the hand wand right over here on the wall. And then up top, you also have a skylight, which not only lets in natural light, but also gives you some additional headroom. So we step into the bedroom. You will see the queen bed right here in the center. Folks, this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So if you're a taller person and you're sick of your feet hanging off in a lot of campers, you won't have that issue here in the camp light. You also notice the decorative pillows that do come with it because this one is the platinum edition. You have the headboard there, which is also backlit. On both sides, you have some good storage. You'll notice you have a hanging rod there, which is great. So you can have wardrobes on both sides there. And then here in the center, you have storage going all the way across. And you can see how far back that goes. This is not, you know, short storage. A lot of times this isn't very usable. Not at all the case in here. You'll also see that you have a nightstand on both sides, and below that nightstand, you have an electrical outlet or dual USB ports, depending on what side of the bed you are on. You'll also see right up here, folks, you have a TV connection. So if you want TV, maybe you want to watch a show before bed, that's where you'd hook it up at. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Camplight 23 RLS. Starting off right up front here, you will see that you have the black diamond plating coming up the front, helping protect that front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also notice you have a power tongue jack on here. That comes standard. This makes it really easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. There's also a light on there uh, to give you a little extra visibility in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that, you have your propane tank cover housing two 20-pound tanks. 
And then a little further back, you will see your battery box. Notice that the rail system is large enough. If you want two batteries on here, it can certainly accommodate that. And then uh, behind that, just a little ways further, is your spare tire. One of the things you will also notice that is very unique to Camp Light is the A-frame right here, the structure itself, and the outriggers because all of it is aluminum. It's very strong. You won't have any issues with buckling. I know people have brought that up in the past. Another great thing about it, folks, is because it's aluminum, it will never rust. So it will stay looking great just like it does right now for years and years to come. And that's one of the big things about Camp Light. That's why they use so much aluminum. That is why they use uh, all the Asdels because they want this camper to last for a long time. The roof material up there is a Super Alpha Flex. It has a 12 year warranty on there. It's uh, upgraded over your regular rubber roof. It doesn't have near as much streaking coming down the side. It doesn't chalk nearly as badly either. The fiberglass sides here are vacuum bonded. They use a uh, three-stage process, which gives excellent bond strength to help reduce or mainly eliminate any kind of uh, delamination. And also to that effect, as I mentioned, folks, they use Asdel in here. So behind this is your Asdel composite panel, which doesn't absorb moisture, as I mentioned inside. So in the rare event you were to get any water in the sidewall, you won't have any issues. The, uh, the, all the structure is aluminum, so that's not going to rot out. And it won't delaminate because that Asdel won't absorb the moisture. In case you don't know, it's generally the cause of delamination is the wood structure inside will actually uh, absorb the moisture and then you get pops. It starts to bubble right here, so you won't have those issues. Right here is your pass-through storage. It is slam latch. You'll also see it's magnetic. And if you take a look in there, you'll see it goes all the way through. Same size large doors on both sides, LED lights on both sides, and you'll see you have a battery disconnect right here. That's a cool feature too. That way when you're done using it for the season, just flip the switch and it will kill all power to the coach. That way you don't have that, that trickle drain slowly killing your battery. Cause that's certainly not what you want when you go to open up your camper for the season as a dead battery. Power awning on here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Does have an LED light on there as well. And you know, again, sometimes it's some of the smaller things. If you take a look right here, these are the wires for your LED light. You'll actually see that they housed them. Folks, most manufacturers don't do that. It'll just be free floating wires. So, you know, again, sometimes it's the small things, the attention to detail that helps set some manufacturers apart. To get into the coach, you will see you have a foldable grab handle right here, as well as two foldable steps. These are aluminum treads. So again, just like your whole structure here, it will not rust out on you. If you want TV outside, Here's the mount for it, so you can put it right there, perfectly underneath the awning, just like you would want. And the corresponding connections are right over here. You have the electrical outlet, as well as your cable outlet there. Uh, when we were inside, I talked about the multimedia center. You'll see two speakers right up top. Those are controlled by that multimedia center. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can sit out here and still be able to control your music. The wheels are aluminum alloy, so once again, no rust there. And if you take a look right in between, you will see the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system helping this unit as you're towing it down the road to eat some of those bumps so it's not giving a bunch of shock and vibration through the body. Folks, that helps uh, reduce any kind of broken dishes or cabinets rattling off the wall. And also, you know, it, it helps a little bit with the bucking and chucking when you're going down the road if you hit a pothole or something like that. We'll open this guy up again. This is magnetic. This is your outside uh, kitchen, which I really like to have on a couple's coach. Generally, you have to have a bunk model or a rear bathroom to get it. I like the fact they're able to put it in a rear living. So you have your uh, refrigerator right here for your condiments, beverages. We'll pull this guy out. This will be the cooktop. So you open that up, you have two burners right there. Now that will connect to your propane quick connect right down here. But bear in mind, folks, if you don't want to use the cooktop, if you want a grill, you can certainly set your grill up right here and plug that in as well. Just make sure your grill doesn't have a regulator on it because it is already regulated from your tanks coming back and you don't want to reduce it twice. Uh, right back here, you will see that you have a backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera on here, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Aluminum bumper, just like the rest of it, folks, that's not going to rust, it's going to stay looking great. Right over here on the off door side, you'll notice the outside shower, both hot and cold water access. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right in there. You have the cable inlet, 
If you want to go boondocking, this is where you fill your fresh tanks. And then directly below that is your city water inlet. Right here in front of the dual axles is your termination. You will see your black and gray valves are located right there too. Up a little ways is a black tank flush. This is awesome. Rather than having to stick a hose or a wand down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you can hook the hose up right there to make sure you wash all the solids out of the bottom. I do highly recommend using that whenever you're done camping. And lastly, folks, right up here is solar prep. If you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Camp Light 23 RLS. This one does have the platinum package. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.